And I was also thinking, in addition to just the sprinklers covering all the internal electronics and various strategic locations throughout the inside of the robot, I think that this water system could also supply, um, like let's say, here's a close-up of the sprinkler, and it could just have like a hole, and then here's, it could be pressed up against the silicone skin, and it can just be like a little hole poked through, and it's just it's just hugging the skin, and you just have holes poked. And so it will just trickle a little bit of water out at the skin. And so the skin will stay moist. It will just kind of like sweat all the time. And so his clothes will eventually get damp. And that's good because just like the, hu just like the human body sweats, if the robot's sweating, that will be chilling his silicone skin, which I'm sure will absorb some heat since the the body of the robot's constantly giving off heat, um, the robot's skin will get hot, and by wetting the outside of the robot's skin and clothing, air in the room that's blowing across the robot will actually chill the skin of the robot, drawing even more heat out of the system, which is good. So the robot will not only have an internal sweating system, but an external sweating system. His external skin will sweat. And here's just a close-up. This is going to be a water tubing, and I just poked a hole through it, and then this here is the silicone skin. And you, you can just poke a hole with a little sewing needle, and just enough for a little bit of water to make its way through over time. Um, I'm not sure, yeah, I think it should work, like, if you glue all around the seams on all sides and then poke the hole, the water can't, like, just drip down this tubing, like, it has only one, one place to go and that will be out. And if the water is under pressure, I think that over time a little bit would make its way through the skin. At least in theory. We'd have to test it, but, I mean, it's definitely doable, it's definitely possible to make that happen. And so we could put like little sweat, I mean, the body has probably a hundred sweat pores in a square inch of surface area. So we could put like one sweat pore per three square inches of the robot's body so that he could just, you know, slowly stay damp and it just kind of make him wet all the time. Nice, cool water on the robot's body will definitely help him a lot. And we could even have the robot sweat in the same areas that the human body sweats. He can sweat more in the chest and armpits and lower back and maybe his forehead. It'll look so cool having the robot have like sweat beads on him. That will make him look even more realistic too, him always being sweaty. Plus, we could always have that sweating feature be disabled if the robot's not doing much. Um, it, so, like, the sweat lines, as part of his air, water circulation system, could have shutoff valves. So the sweating could then be optional. He can just sweat in demand when he needs additional cooling. 